And so I know what I do is really weird. I have it all in one place and people find that to be odd, but um, you have to suck it up and work with my brain, I guess, for a semester. Well, okay. <laughs> I'm glad that you recognize the difference between a teacher and a professor. And we've actually moved completely away from that. Uh, so we took your advice uh, to heart and now students generally write code from scratch, bottom up, and that's been a big improvement. But we have changed textbook. We listen to student reviews, even the uh, ones that strike at our hearts. This is really nice, uh, but only one person upvoted it. Where's the rest of you? I mean, come on, show me some love. Hi, I'm Professor Ron Citrin. The students mostly call me Ron, which is fine. I'm a professor of computer science and engineering. The courses I've taught most recently include the introductory course, CSE 131, uh, the course on algorithms, CSE 247, and lately I've been teaching the introductory and advanced quantum computing courses. Okay, so just take the top one here. Mm -hmm. um, writing this as an alum, I took teachers like Dr. Citron for granted, but looking back, I owe them a huge debt of gratitude. Dr. Citron did a great job of instilling core CS knowledge in his students and was a model of professionalism. That's really nice. Yeah, I, I tell people that the kindest thing a student can do is to stay in touch with me. Uh, Parents Weekend just happened, and I was uh, very, very happy to be visited by one of my former students who's now sending his daughter to WashU. She's just starting her first year. I'm Dottie Peterson. I'm in the Economics Department in Arts and Sciences. Currently, I teach uh, introductory macroeconomics. I have taught um, money and banking, international economics, um, intermediate macroeconomics, taught over in the business school, taught the global economy class, and taught the MBAs for a while, so I've been around for a bit. <laughs> I took her intro macro class, but got pretty much what I expected from an intro lecture class. Her lectures get boring and rambly, but she tries to keep it interesting <laughs> with jokes. Sometimes it's just a boring topic. Despite this, she's very caring. Well, the, the, okay, we don't need the rest of that. Um, so, yeah, this reminds me of many, many years ago when somebody said, I felt really, really sorry for her because... Uh, she would crack jokes in class and no one would laugh except for her. It's like, ugh. All right, let's keep going. That's a win. Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Luo and I'm a senior lecturer at the chemistry department and I'm teaching introductory general chemistry, chem, chem 105, 106. Uh, she seems pleasant, okay? That's start with positive but she can be rude in help sessions, makes you feel stupid. It is also frustrating to ask a question and she just repeat herself without answering the question. I would hope a professor could explain topics without looking at a key or her notes, just to memorize the problem sets and you will get an A. Uh, so this comment actually was uh, several years ago, uh, most likely during COVID time. Um, so I definitely think COVID would make a difference. The online teaching would make a difference. As you interact with people in person, you may have a different feeling. But in terms of I'm being rude or I need to look at the note, I, I would not be able to remember all the questions in the assignment. So sometimes I need to remind myself. Uh, but I appreciate the comments uh, that, uh, you know, I. I will be careful with my, my tone <laughs> in answering questions to students in the future. Hi, my name is Professor Marin Heinz and I am a teaching professor in the physics department. I teach introductory physics, the two semester sequence, and, uh, and I've been teaching here about 11 years. Ooh, this one's green, that's good. Uh, so she is very clear in her lectures and she is very timely. She seems very interested in our progress and she always wants to help us do better if we seem to be struggling. She's always there for her students. I think other lecturers have a darkened tone while her lectures are upbeat and more enthusiastic. Aw, I like that one. Um, some, I also teach in the morning, so you have to be kind of upbeat and enthusiastic to keep people awake. Um, especially, yeah, I think for when this one was, it was 9 a.m., so it was really important 9 a.m. Monday morning. But uh, that's a good one. I like that. Hi everyone, I'm Professor Schaefer. I have been teaching mathematics at WashU for four years now. 
I am a lecturer and I primarily teach calculus, but I teach uh, lots of math courses all over the place. This one is from October 2021, so the middle of a Calc 2 class. I know people who watch all of Schaefer's lectures on top of going to their own professor's class because he's great at teaching. On top of that, he's just a great guy. Oh, or I just play one on TV. He also cares a lot about his students and is very receptive to feedback. He goes above and beyond to make the class enjoyable. Couldn't recommend more, 10 out of 10. This is really nice, uh, but only one person upvoted it. Where's the rest of you? I mean, come on, show me some love. That's, um, uh, yeah, I mean, that just kind of embodies what I want to do in the classroom. I want you to know that I support you and uh, that I can you know, help you out along the way when you need it. Um, and again, if you, you know, what you're in this class for is to learn calculus. And so if you can learn that from me or from another instructor, you know, what we want you to is uh, learn calculus. So glad that I can help you do that. I went to class maybe four times, read her slides, and did fine on the quizzes. Well, that means I make really excellent PowerPoints, I guess. Um, also, it was recorded, so you maybe went to class that way. <laughs> Super chill teacher, class was vibes. How would you know class was vibes if you're not in it? Um, stop complaining, freshmen, and wait till you actually get difficult classes. Then you will gain an appreciation for this course. Yeah, that's probably true. This is not supposed to be the thing that challenges you to your core, like orgo or something like that. Worst intro class at WashU. Oh, oh. Do not take physics unless you absolutely have to. Well, uh, I think most people in physics do absolutely have to um, because we have a lot of pre-meds and engineers. But uh, it says the textbook they use in this class is by far the worst I've ever seen. If you don't believe me, search up the reviews for it. The, pro <laughs> the professors were probably paid off by the publishing company to force us to use these textbooks. Uh, let's see, so this one, we have changed textbooks and uh, I was not paid off by the textbook company. Uh, one, I, I don't think that would be okay, but um, I definitely did not see any money from uh, using a textbook. But we have changed textbook. We listen to student reviews, even the uh, ones that strike at our hearts, and we changed our textbook. So now, hopefully, everyone will be thrilled and happy, but let's be realistic. Uh, physics textbooks are not the most exciting reads, no matter which one you choose. So, so we'll just have to do it all in lecture and make it exciting then. Um, Citroen is a celebrity at WashU for good reason. He takes massive pride in CSE 131 as it exposes CS students uh, to CS for the first time, and he does what he can to make it enjoyable, less intimidating. The course has a ton of support with an army of TAs who will help. Tests are never too difficult as he gives you everything you need to do well. That's really nice, and I appreciate that. Um, I think, and my colleagues in the department share this opinion generally, that computer science it's kind of the new writing. It's something that we think every student ought to have some experience in. Um, when I had the chance to reinvent 131 with a lot of help later from all my colleagues, the design point of it was to become more inclusive, um, to be more fun, uh, to give people a really accurate picture of what it's like to practice computer science. That's a lot to put into an introductory course, but I did have a lot of pride in it and the number of students now, not thanks to me, I think more thanks to the industry, and the recognized need to study computer science, there are a thousand students a year taking CSE 131 if you count fall, spring, and summer. Um, and as I said, one out of five students goes on to either do a major or minor in computer science. <laughs> Dr. Lua isn't just a professor, she's a teacher. Well, okay, <laughs> I'm glad that you recognize the difference between a teacher and a professor. She's an incredible lecturer who cares about her students. Topics are always well explained and she's very accessible outside of class if you need help. She's encouraging and emphasizes improvement over perfection. Dr. Luo is passionate about both chemistry and teaching. Take a class with her. Well, that's my goal. I really want the students to not only learn in chemistry, but also being able to, you know, uh, improve their skills, study skills, so they can really carry this on to other science classes. So I'm happy that you recognize that. <laughs> uh, I'm surprised that we haven't gotten more of this yet. Uh, despite his poor handwriting, he explained concepts pretty well, or at least well enough for me to understand them for the quizzes. Quizzes every week can be annoying, but ensures you cumulatively understand the information. He's very accessible and willing to help, and the workload is pretty standard. Uh, I'm sorry that my handwriting is so bad. Uh, it's, um, 
I can't say that uh, I've ever like tried to make it not awful, but uh, I hope that it's at least sometimes legible. I like this review also because there's, um, you know, we know that like, you know, when we add some work for you to do, like take a quiz every week, like that's something that takes time out of your day. You have to remember to do it on top of all your other workload. But the goal is to help you remember the concepts and not fall behind. And so I'm glad to hear that it's helpful for that, even though it does take some more time out of your day. Uh, Citrin's a really nice guy, but he doesn't make the class that interesting. Lectures can be pretty boring and he drowns you in slides and the labs are just filling the function so they don't really help. The difficulty is pretty tame, though, compared to other engineering courses, though, and he's always looking at ways to improve the course. Um, yes, yeah, so actually, there was a time when the introductory course had a lot of fill-in-the-blank work, and we've actually moved completely away from that, uh, so we took your advice uh, to heart, and now students generally write code from scratch, bottom-up, and that's been a big improvement. I love Professor Luo. Thank you for saying that. I had a limited chemistry background and was very nervous for this course. Well, many students were nervous for this course. But Luo is an incredible teacher and to make the contents very understandable. Chem 105 as a whole has great accessible resources that you should definitely take advantage of. PLTL, absolutely, go PLTL. This class definitely requires work, but it's far from impossible. That's again, I'm very happy to hear that. It's supposed to be a challenging course, but because of the challenge, you grow yourself and you actually can be successful in this course if you devoted the uh, necessary amount of effort and work. Easily one of the best professors at WashU. Okay, this one I might have to frame and put on my wall. Lectures are very clear and her notes are extremely thorough, well-written. Heinz really wants her students to succeed and she makes the most challenging concepts seem really intuitive. She and the physics department did a great job in transitioning the class online amidst COVID-19 pandemic. 10 out of 10 recommend. Well, at least uh, someone thinks we did a good job transitioning. That was a, a little bit of a stressful period, I think, for all of us, but uh, very appreciated that uh, all of that work is was appreciated there. Pretty standard lecture style class, quite a bit of group work, which can be pretty stressful to coordinate if unlucky. So I think this goes to this basic point. If you are taking this class, um, try to be a good sport with other people. Her Canvas page can be a bit overwhelming, so don't try to take it all in. Just find what you need when you need it. Um, Canvas seems to be a recent transition itself, not necessarily liked. Okay, Canvas. You have five or six classes every semester and every professor thinks about Canvas differently. And so I know what I do is really weird. I have it all in one place and people find that to be odd, but um, you have to suck it up and work with my brain, I guess, for a semester. It's a lot of work. I don't know if COVID played a major role, in my opinion, on this class, but I think Professor Schaefer could have done a better job finishing examples and lecture, providing homework that resembled what we were being quizzed on, providing practice quizzes and giving reasonable length quizzes. Some of the quizzes average 55%. Uh, so this is a review. Uh, I appreciate the five students who marked this as unhelpful review. Uh, so thank you to the five of you out there. Uh, this was posted on January 11th, 2021, which was right after uh, fall 2020, which was the COVID semester and uh, that semester was kind of a mess. I don't blame the student at all. Uh, we were just trying like to do anything that stuck. Um, I will say though, that I hope that we have made a lot of changes in the class since then uh, in providing reasonable length quizzes, uh, better homework assignments, uh, things that are like not overly difficult. So it was actually uh, reviews like this that helped us improve calculus and make it not awful. So I'm sorry to those of you who took Calc in fall 2020, we could have done a better job but uh, uh, because of your suffering, uh, today's students have a, a better class. But I've been extremely fortunate to be uh, a pedagogue, to be a teacher at exactly the time when computer science has just taken off. So that's fortuitous for me and I appreciate that. Plus I'm surrounded by the best students you could ever hope for. I hope the students, whoever, you know, you're taking the classes right now or you took the classes before or you are going to take the classes in the future, you will benefit from the course from some, some, from some degree, either from the content or having uh, the uh, learning uh, skills being improved through the course. That's really the goal for general chemistry, not just the content, but also preparing for future science classes. 
couple of these we're just gonna pretend it's <laughs> and these other ones i'm gonna save Blowing these movies. and maybe make a collage and we'll just see like all the nice green squares that say wonderful glowing things and uh make me feel better on days when everyone just stares blankly at me and doesn't want to answer questions i'll come back and say i do care about students i'm doing a good job and it'll be very motivational and with that this is Dottie Peterson in economics doing read, rate my professors. I could not be a good teacher if I did not have great students. And so thank you to everybody who's been in my class. I really, it's been a pleasure to work with you. Um, and that's it uh, for me. So thank you everybody again. This has been Professors React to Rate My Professor Reviews. Perfect. Do I need to say Wash You Professors React or is this? Okay, okay.